Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting. All of these videos were taken on Saturday, June 24th in late afternoon. I did have a request for a garden update, so I wanted to get one filmed this weekend. You can see here that I dug a 3 foot by 42 foot flower bed on the outside of the garden and added a whiskey barrel at each end, which is potted up with a dahlia, some zinnias, and some marigolds. This is one of my two honeysuckles. This is the same variety of honeysuckle that I recall my grandma had on her uh, garden spigot area, so I wanted to have one of those in the garden. And then here's a really beautiful basket of wave petunias. This thing is going to be gorgeous when the heat kicks up this week. Uh, here is a look at a peony uh, that I planted a couple years ago in this pot. It didn't bloom this year, but I think I may have too much mulch on it. That will keep your peonies from blooming, so I need to lift that up just a smidge. And then you can see all these goofy baskets that I have in my flower bed. That's to keep the deer and the little birds from picking out my seedlings when they sprout. I also added uh, three echinacea plants to this uh, flower bed. The deer don't bother the echinacea plants, so they are a good candidate for a um, garden space that does not have a fence. Uh, there's two different red varieties there and then the standard uh, pink variety. They are so beautiful and they're going to fill in really nicely as the years go on. I also added a little pot here of some pansies and uh, I think that outside purple plant is lobelia. And there's some zinnia seeds in that pot as well. And then inside the garden I have nine of these raised beds. Uh, this first bed here on the left is my strawberry bed. Uh, the second bed is full of different radishes and lettuces and lots of flowers. Um, we have been enjoying strawberries out of that new bed this year. They are so delicious. <laughs> this is the middle row of three beds. You can see the one there in the front has grandma's garden gate as a trellis. In front of it I have planted some snapdragons and zinnias and probably a sunflower or two, some sweet alyssum, some marigolds, some climbing black-eyed susan vine, and a tomato on the back side. There you can see my chicken whirly gig that my dad gave to me a couple years ago. And the garden is growing really great. Uh, we did have some really cool weather which seemed to slow things down a little bit, but uh, it's going to warm up here this week, so things are going to really take off. This is the third row of uh, raised beds in the garden, and again, it's just another mix of plants. I really like growing all different types of things together. Flowers mixed with vegetables, <laughs> all different kinds of veg vegetables mixed in, some herbs thrown in. There's some volunteer deer and, uh, dill in this bed, um, some new lettuce that I planted, there's some new radishes growing in, and then uh, the rest of it is a mix of zinnias, sunflowers, straw flowers, kale, sweet peas, and sunflowers. I think there's a marigold in that bed as well. And this is another bed. I, I planted some snap peas on this trellis, and in front of it I planted some beautiful lettuces and some flowers. And in this pot here I have some sunflowers, a marigold, and some zinnias. The uh, peas have been blooming really beautifully this week, and I actually noticed uh, that I have some baby peas starting, so that's exciting. These are going to have to put on some fruit here right away because it's going to get pretty warm for them. Another look at that beautiful uh, ma uh, marigold with those blue leaves, and this is the cutest little profusion zinnia. I don't remember the color variety, um, but I just love these plants. This pr uh, profusion zinnia is one I'm going to have to grow every year. Here's one of my three straw flowers. I love these things. I need to get out here and clip off some of these older blooms so that I get more young blooms coming on, but so cute, such an interesting plant. And here's a bed with some sunflowers. This is the backside of that pea bed. Uh, some chocolate um, cherry sunflowers, some orange zinnias, and then a mix a variety of zinnias in the front. There's also some nasturtiums in here. There's some garlic chives planted in that tree pot down at the corner. And here's another one of those profusion zinnias and this beautiful purple viola. This bed is a mix of flowers and 
uh, veggies. So this is a gumfrina. There's some snapdragons and sweet alyssum. Lots of zinnia sunflowers. And there's a short row of cosmo in here. Um, some volunteer dill, dill as well. I have a beautiful dahlia at the end. There's some perfusion zinnias at the end of this bed as well as some nasturtiums. And then also there's a couple of tomatoes and some beans growing on the trellis. This is some chamomile that volunteered from last year. And this is a plant that always makes me think of my grandma. She always seemed to have this growing in her, either her garden or her hanging baskets. And here is a um, cherry hot, hot cherry double maybe, uh, zinnia. So cute. You can see how tall the sunflowers are getting and the tomatoes are getting. I have three hummingbird feeders in the garden this year. This is one of them. And then I have one hanging in the center of the garden and I have one on the other far side fence. And there's lots of hummingbirds zo uh, zooming around. We actually have, uh, in addition to these three feeders, we have nine feeders up at the house. <clears throat> this bed is a mix of flowers and veggies. Uh, there is a scallop squash in here, plus a beautiful um, bachelor button. There's some green beans, um, some magenta beans, some snapdragons, um, more zinnias and sunflowers. <laughs> I love sweet alyssum in the garden and here it is planted with some snapdragons. You can see that I pinched these off and so they've gotten really bushy. They're going to be sending up lots of flower spikes. This is my sweet 100 tomato. She's looking gorgeous. And you can see I've added some trellising <clears throat> just to keep things upright when they grow. This is some antique uh, garden fencing that I have for my grandma. Inside I planted some um, peas and then because they won't um, last the whole summer there, I also planted a, a, a Cosmo in the middle. And here is a look at that beautiful little bachelor button. So cute. Lots of little buds coming on this. They'll be fun to have in my bouquets here shortly. Uh, this is another bed of that beautiful orange marigold, and I noticed there is a volunteer tomato. <laughs> I think based on the uh, leaf shape, this is probably a pink brandywine volunteer from last year. It came up in some snapdragons. <laughs> uh, these are my two zucchini plants. Um, I decided to go back to the old standard of black beauties, um, and they are already looking like they have lots of fruit to put on, so we should be in, um, in zucchini here shortly. Here's another bed of tomatoes and some flowers and some new lettuce. There's also a delicata squash planted in there and uh, some zinnia seeds as well as a tithonia plant, which is a Mexican sunflower. So this bed has two Cherokee, or uh, one purple Cherokee and two black crim tomatoes. Here you can see from the corner, there's another great big dahlia uh, some nasturtiums. There's some sweet meat squash in that bed as well as a scallop squash. And then here's a look at the blueberry patch. This blueberry bed is two foot wide by 16 feet long and it has six blueberry bushes planted in it that are four different varieties. And we have four early uh, varieties and then two late varieties. The garden paths are looking extra nice this year. <laughs> I've been able to keep them relatively weed free. There you can see my two tr um, hoop trellises where I have my green beans, magnolia beans, and um, the tomatoes and some scarlet runner beans planted. And here is a closer look at that beautiful pink dahlia. I have some tomatoes that have set fruit, so that's exciting. This is the one that's um, trellised on the backside of Grandma's garden gate. Here is a uh, sun gold tomato that's put on some fruit. And this is my early girl tomato. And here's a look at the garden from the other corner where I usually take some photos. There you can see that cute little hedge of zinnias in that front bed. And there's some specialty sunflowers in that bed as well. The middle bed there, uh, where that kind of looks open on the front, um, that was where I just pulled up some lettuce that bolted 
and um, last night I planted in some specialty sunflower seeds that will come up and be beautiful for the fall. So everything is growing so well. I'm very pleased with how things are looking this year. And here's a look at the gorgeous little purple viola. I think this is so beautiful. It looks like a watercolor painting. So pretty. And in this bed, this is the bed that I have the little hedge of uh, red profu profusion zinnias. And then in the front here, I have three different colors of status. There's this neon yellow. This plant is white and the one next to it is purple. And then I have one that I've started from seed as a little bit later that will be blue. And I thought this, this uh, blueberry branch was so beautiful with that bright red uh, stem and those <laughs> lime green berries. So pretty. The berries have shot up lots of new branches this year. Here's another um, straw flower that I'm growing. Again, I need to come out and snip off some of these older blooms, but uh, such an interesting plant. And here's a beautiful, beautiful uh, pot of marigolds and sunflowers. And here is a closer look at that uh, profusion zinnia hedge. And you can see it's going to be loaded with blooms here shortly. I've got a row of uh, zinnias behind there as well as some, as, uh, some specialty sunflowers. Or you can really see the hoop trellis and those beans have reached the top and then some. And that's the tour of the garden. Thank you so much for visiting and I um, hope you've enjoyed. The garden is such an exciting place this time of year. I can't, it's hard to believe that only two months ago it was uh, barren and I was stripping out all of the plants from last year. It's really come a long ways in two months. So thanks for watching. Bye!